going to be doing um, a review on this th um, Discovery Kids 360 degree animated lead marine lamp. Yes. Um, and I've been waiting to do a review on this for so long because I really like marine lamps. So, and I don't have anything. You know, like when you read at night, you know, like you have like a little lamp. I don't, so this is a good thing it's for me to like have lights in my room. So let's just open it. And I think there, uh, I actually put batteries in this um, before I did the video because it takes long, and I don't want to. Um, edit the video for too long there was this thing in it what you know like in seaweed um once you're done there's like this thing it says do not eat why does it come with this you can't eat it what um so it first it comes with this um discovery kids marine uh Marine Life Guide. Yeah. So, and then it has the it has the instructions, and then it has the marine lamp, of course. So, um, in in the marine lamp, there is a button. A common line fish, a blue sheep butterfly fish, a Moorish idol, and a parrot fish. And most of this is from Finding Nemo. I'm just saying. <laughs> So first of all, there's this off, on, and timer button. The off button, of course, means it's off. On means on. And then for the timer, it it's going to be on for like however time it wants. Like maybe it's like four minutes, and then it just automatically turns off. And that doesn't mean the battery is like low, but it means like it's just turning off because. You haven't uh, like been been at it for like a couple of minutes, and then if you t turn it on, you can turn it off like in 20 minutes or something. So you don't have to like see, it, like you know, wait a certain time. But yeah, and then under here, there's actually a battery thing, um, and it actually needs six batteries, um, and I. I actually use these kind of batteries just so you know what kind of batteries to get. Now I actually got this at Christmas, so I got it at okay. But let's turn it on. Whoa. It's actually kind of like spinning. You know, it's like the wallpaper is right there, and then the fish is just like attached on it. And then it's like spinning around. That's cool. I want to see it during the dark. So I'm going to turn off the lights here. Whoa. That's cool. It's like glow in the dark. So when you turn off the lights, you can read. It's cool. And then it has all the fish from the Marine Life Guide. It's cool. And I actually want to read the Marine Life Guide. I know it's kind of boring, but I'm going to keep this on for a little bit. And I'm actually going to turn on the lights. Yeah. So, 
I'm going to start with the blue tang and slash gory. Um, the blue tang is extremely territorial. It eats mostly marine algae. Be careful not to touch since blue tangs have sharp spine, spines on, blue, on either side of their tails. Blue tangs can be found in the Indo-Pacific Ocean regions and grow up to 12 inches long. And that's cool. Dory is awesome. And they're actually doing the finding Dory, right? I don't think it's out yet, though. Um, it's just spinning. <laughs> um, the, next we have the clownfish slash, slash Nemo. Um, clownfish have a unique relationship with the sea anemone. With their bright colors, clownfish venture to deeper reefs where larger fish swim. Those larger, they're, 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 those larger fish follow clownfish back to the sea anemones. Once the anemones sting the larger fish, clownfish eat the remains. Ew. He says yuck. Yuck. <laughs> um, that's, that's, that's just gross. Okay, I kind of um, adjusted the camera a little bit so you guys can see me. Um, but we're on the flat nose ray. Um, flat nose rays, flat nose, flat nose rays can be found from the Indian Ocean all the way to North America. They eat mostly crustaceans and can grow up to 30 feet in length. The rip-like tails contain stingers that the rays use if they are in trouble or frightened. Um, and then we have the green sea turtles. When the, f I, I don't think I, um, told you guys. I don't oh know if I did. The flat nose ray is like the teacher for Nemo. And then the green sea turtle is crushed. Uh, 100 something. 100 something. And he's 100 something years old. Um, the green sea turtle is one of the longest living sea creatures. Many live as long as 80 years and can weigh up to 690 pounds. Green sea turtles migrate long distances between feeding grounds and hatching areas. Um, they swim up to 1,600 miles to lay their eggs. Sea turtles are very docile, docile creatures that eat mostly seagrass. Um, let me just turn this back on. I want to turn it back on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we have the crystal jellyfish. Um, they were in the movie. They sting uh, Nemo and, I mean, Marlin, that's Nemo's, that's Nemo's dad, um, and Dory. Um, oh, crystal jellyfish can be found in many regions from the west coast of North America to as far south as the Indian Ocean. The jellyfish is capable of producing quick flashes of blue light through, throughout its body. And then we have the common lionfish. They look, they look really scary. I'm not going near them. Um, lionfish have a scary stay away from me look that they back up, back up with the highly venomous fin spines. But do not worry, these fish fear humans and use their spines only against predators. And then we have the blue cheek butterfly fish. And these are called butterfly fish because um, both both sides of their body, like, you know those flat fish, they're just like flat, um, both of, both sides are like the same. Um, blue cheek butterfly fish grow to eight inches in length and are one of the most colorful in aquariums. They typically dwell among the coral feeding on algae and plankton. Morsh idol, and now we're on Morsh idol, and this is the guy that helped um, Nemo get out, and he had this scar on his fin, you know. Um, oh, and sorry about the spoilers in Finding Nemo, just in case you guys didn't see it. And that was actually a really cool episode, um, movie, so you should watch it. Um, and I'm really sorry about the spoilers again. Um, Moorish idol are sometimes confused with butterfly fish due to their small fins and disc-like bodies. They are very picky and eat only small sponges and invertebrates. 
Sometimes if they cannot find what they like, they won't eat at all and will perish. Sad. Um, parafish. Just, just circle. Circle. Um, anyways. Parrotfish. Parrotfish look like a parrot with their color rarity and the way their teeth and jaw come together to look like a beak. Reaching 12 to 20 inches in length, these fish eat algae off the coral reef. But anyways, guys, that's the marine life guide. And then, and then here's the marine lamp instructions. And it shows you um, what kind of batteries you'll need. You'll need. And you'll need 6C batteries. And I showed you guys the batteries earlier. Um, and there's like other like kinds of um, batteries that look just, just but are made just like this. But anyways guys, I hope you guys like this video and please also subscribe to this channel and my other channel and please um, follow me on Instagram and my Google Plus, which I will and I will um, be putting all of that in the link below. I love you guys so much. Bye-bye.